Hopefully I will be making a lot more of these for you guys. Um, I'm really excited. This is something I get to start doing. This first one is going to be a tea time. My other videos hopefully are going to be a lot different. I'm really excited about this and I hope that you guys really enjoy the content that I'm going to try to put out on a consistent basis. Anyways, let's get this started. This story starts back in 2017 with me, my ex-boyfriend, and my mom. I had just moved to Florida with him. I was trying to start a new life. We had been going through all kinds of problems. This fucking airplane, what the fuck? One eternity later. We had been going through all kinds of problems and stuff. Um, wasn't really working out in Alabama. I needed something new. He needed something new. Here we are. Moved to Florida. So a couple months go by. I'm starting to get lonely. I have no friends. I have no family. I really just had nothing down here except for him. And we, our relationship was not that great. It was very rocky and had a lot of problems along the way. So anyways, I had decided to give my mom a call. I had called my mom and told her that I was lonely and just wondered if she would come stay with me for a little while, you know, like while I'm working things out. My mom's retired. She doesn't really, all of her kids are grown. She can kind of do that sort of thing. So she was like, yeah, I'll come stay with you for a little while. And that's basically where this starts. She had got a bus ticket down here and she was going to come stay with me and him and just kind of wing it with us for a while and see what happens. So she got her bus ticket and she told me, Diamond, I'm going to make one quick little pit stop in Georgia before I get there and stay the night. I'm going to see an old friend that I haven't seen in a very long time. We're going to hang out and we're going to have a great time. So, of course, I'm okay with that. Whatever. She's my mom. She can do what she wants to. She's grown. Um, probably not the best decision now when I think about it. She had got on the bus, got to Georgia where she was supposed to go, met with this person, it was a guy that she was going to see. Um, she saw this guy, they had started drinking, was just having a good time, kind of relaxing, partying, everything was okay. She called me, told me that they were, everything was going good, he seemed okay, he was a good guy. I didn't think anything else about it, so I go to sleep that night just to be awoken at 2am by my cell phone playing very 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 loudly and annoyingly over and over and over and over and over again so finally i answered the phone so the phone is hung up i really have no idea where she's at other than that she's in georgia and i'm really in a panic i don't know what to do i'm trying to get dressed to take this random six hour drive to georgia somewhere to pick up my mother then she calls the house is on fire what do you mean the house is on fire so like it was really a panic at this time. I can smile about it now. Back then it was not funny. So she tells me that she's leaving the house. The house accidentally got burned down, that he was beating her and she sprayed him with lighter fluid. So apparently when she sprayed him with the lighter fluid, it had got on the heater that was beside them because they were in the garage and this was in like December, January in Georgia. So it was cold, they were in the garage and she had sprayed him with the lighter fluid and it caught the whole freaking garage on fire. What am I supposed to do, you know? So like, I told her, mom, you need to leave. You need to get out of there. Like, it's gonna get bad. I don't know what to do. Okay, now obviously, thinking back, leaving the scene of a crime, probably not the best advice. But then again, I had never burned anyone's house to the ground before. So I don't know what you're supposed to do in that situation. So she leaves, she goes to a Waffle House, which is where I told her to go. Um, I, by this time I'd already got her info, like where she was at and stuff. So I'm like, I'm gonna meet you at the Waffle House. If anyone asks you at Waffle House, just tell them that your boyfriend threw you out of the car and you need to just wait for your daughter to come pick you up because Waffle House is open 24 hours and they're not gonna kick you out as long as you sit there and shut up. Let me say that again. As long as you sit there and shut up. As you can all imagine, my mother did not do this. 
she goes to the Waffle House hysterical that she just accidentally burnt some man's house to the ground. And of course, they call the police. So they call the police. My mom is going to jail. Meantime, I have no idea what exactly is going on. I'm just trying to get to Georgia to figure out what is going on with my mother, why all of this is happening really, like what is the next thing I'm supposed to do. She was only supposed to stay for one freaking night and she ends up burning this guy's house down. So anyways, I get a call from a detective the next day that my mother is being arrested for arson. Um, it was a bunch of charges, I'll list them later, but basically burning the guy's house down, she burnt the guy's car down, an animal got killed, I believe someone's dog got killed during all of this. Um, obviously, disclaimer, my mother did not mean to kill any animals, she didn't even mean to burn the house down, but when the house got burnt down, the animal died. So, I basically am end up talking to this detective some more and he tells me that my mom is facing five years up to like 25 years fed time in prison for um obviously destruction of property and everything else so after like a lot of craziness and a week or two settles down my mom gives me a call and lets me know that she has to wait for her court date and that the house that she burnt down wasn't actually he didn't actually own the house this guy's mother rented the house from someone else so the house wasn't even theirs to have or to burn down so then my mom ended up getting in trouble with that lady um, she ended up doing eight months, I believe, eight or nine months in jail before she went in front of the judge. Um, when she finally went in front of the judge, she was really nervous that she was going to get a long time. Um, the judge was really, really lenient. I'm really, really grateful. He only gave her 60 days. Well, he gave her 60 days plus time served. So she had ended up doing the eight months plus two months, which was 10 months. Um, she had took a plea deal for the 60 days, and the plea deal was basically time served, plus she has to be on probation for the next 10 years. Um, so now my mom is still on probation. She gets in any sort of trouble at all, she will go back to jail or maybe even like federal prison. I'm not sure how that works. I'm not burning people's house down. So. I have acid reflux really bad. So basically, yeah, that's what happened. A lot of people have made up their own stories about what happened with my mom, why she did it. People said she went crazy. I've heard that my mom was in a cult before, but none of that is true. It was actually just a huge misunderstanding from both her, me, him, and the whole situation was just really really bad. so i'm very grateful to have my mom in my life still and that she's not doing 10 years in prison um also want to say a big fuck you to the guy that hit my mom i won't say that you deserve to have your house burned down but i will say that karma is a bitch and don't mess with crazy women this is should be a story to all of you men out there to not beat on your women do not hit your significant other because guess what one day they might just snap and accidentally burn your freaking house to the ground that is my story for today and thank you guys for if you watched this far thank you for watching and i hope to give you guys better content more content tell me what you like what you didn't like if you have any questions let me know um otherwise i will be on here sometime later this week hopefully maybe next week anyways um bye